forgot to vlog yesterday on Monday. It's been a busy work week. Not complaining, got lots to do this week. I can't show you guys my part-time work project, the liability analyst work I do, but I can show you the work I'm starting on for a new website client this week and some video editing I'm doing for my friend Paige. Hi Paige, if you're seeing this vlog. So for the start of today, I'm working on my part-time work that I can't show you guys, but later today, I will definitely catch you guys up on the other fun projects I'm working on this week. So I will talk to you guys then. Happy Wednesday. I'm super excited right now because I get to start on a brand branding guide for a new client. I love branding guides. I think I almost love them, mm, well, maybe not more than building websites. I think there's parts of the websites I absolutely adore building, but there's parts I dislike. And branding guides, I like every part of it. I love coming up with like a concept for what the colors are gonna look like, what, if they already have a logo, great. But if they don't, then you create the logo, the um, text that they're gonna use, just kind of pulling it all together and making it work. So that's what I'm doing right now. Right now I'm looking on Unsplash on my one monitor and then some of the website inspirations that the client sent over on my other monitor and trying to figure out what to do and what to start with. So I can show you guys a little bit of that today and yeah, it's gonna be a fun creative day. These are my favorite kind of days. So this is the branding guide. I'm going to, you know, blur out <laughs> the parts that show the client's name, but I can show you the rough kind of branding guide and, and what I do for the clients before I start working on the website. This page, I'm gonna blank a lot of it out because this first page is the page where I talk about the background information provided and then kind of the story and what we'd be focusing on with the website. Then we get into the visual concepts page. Again, blurring out anything that is going to show clients that I talk about, the main colors, the secondary colors, the website fonts, usually the client clients have said which fonts they would prefer as well so I added anything that they have mentioned to me that they'd like to see and usually they have a logo ready this client didn't so um, I'm not sure if that's something I'll be doing later on or if they'll be getting it from somewhere else but that's why that's just an NA there but usually there would be a logo there and then I usually add some minimalist kind of icons or any kind of icons that I think they could use throughout the site. Then we get to the visual design mood board which is one of my favorite pages. So the color palette is actually combined to colors from a photo that the client liked with colors that they liked. Sometimes I have more control over this, sometimes I have less, but I really like that they went for such a colorful palette. Then the image mood boards, sometimes they send imagery that they already have, but this client hasn't sent anything yet. So I went to Unsplash or any like stock free image site and I picked out what I think would work best. And then in the bottom, I also include some pattern and textures that I think the client might possibly like on their website. They can let me know which ones they like. And you may see some of those with the color combinations and the imagery on their website. Then on one of the last pages, I'm gonna blur a lot of this out because a lot of it has to do with their taglines and really more about the brand itself. And then that is the end. That's the end of my document. So I send this off to the client, see if they approve it. And then if they like it, we can get started on kind of working out what the website itself is gonna look like. So guys, I'm just doing some web template work. Um, it's 6.30, but I'm also decided to post on my Alice Bow Creates Instagram. Yeah, I posted like a little review on my story of the two books I finished recently, which was Atomic Habits, which I gave a 3.5 out of five. And then The Art of War, which I gave a two out of five. I didn't love it as much as I thought I was going to. I look like a bit of a greasy mess at this time of day, but yeah, finish those two books off. I have two more to finish for the month of January. And I'm thinking maybe at the end of next week, I'll do like a little review of the books I read this month and what I think of them in the vlog. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. Sorry, I'm so greasy. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera down now and just continue working tonight. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Hello guys, happy Thursday. I almost forgot to film today actually because I've been doing some filming for a YouTube video that I think will go up before this one. I'm not too sure, I might go up after this vlog actually. It's all about my two months traveling and living out of my carry-on suitcase and like the lessons I learned, my struggles, <laughs> the ups, the downs. And so 
I haven't really vlogged today, but today's been a really productive day with filming at least. And tomorrow I think will be kind of a similar creative day because currently I'm at a point where with client projects, I've handed over my deliverables and I'm waiting to hear back from them before I move forward. And it's kind of a similar situation with my part-time work right now too. So it's nice to get some time back, but also it's like it's not billable hours. So that's the other struggle with freelancing. But I love having days to just be creative now. So I will update you guys if I do anything else interesting tonight. Currently just uploading the video and making the thumbnail. So that is how my thumbnail turned out. I don't know if I'm not happy with it to be honest, but that's okay. So I just got back from my walk and I decided to grab a square of chocolate. This is some hot apple cider, one of my favorite things to drink in winter. And finally I opened up the Procreate app. I haven't painted digitally for fun in forever. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that right now and just take it easy tonight. that snow oh my gosh guys so what i'm currently doing is setting up a little like staged office set to take some instagram content for i think probably mainly my red lid consulting one so not too much of a focus of my face in it but just like about branding design web design you can see the ring light behind me it's kind of a fun setup i've been meaning to do a shoot with this kind of backdrop for a while just hadn't gotten around to it or had time to do it so i think it'll be kind of fun i'll show you guys some of the interest inspiration for what i'm going for today and you guys can kind of see how these turn out i'll post how they turn out at the end if they turn out good has been on my vlog channel yet so <laughs> say hello not on, just on the spot you've been in this location for like what five years running yeah <laughs> <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that's gonna go in the vlog. That's going on the story. 